If you want to see me depot the Vivid Pigments palette by Colored Rain, looks like this. Then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène with another video, and this is another depotting video, and the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette is what we are going to be de depotting today. I'm going to get rid of the protective plastic and show you all eight shadows. They're all mattes, and I really would like to be able to use these in my Quad of the Month series. I'm going to be also be freeing up the mirror to be able to use it in another project, and we'll be saving the magnets that are also embedded in the palette. For the purposes of doing that, I have some tools, a couple of knives, including one that is a bit broken, so I'm not worried about using it, a pair of scissors to free up the outside edge of the palette if I need it, a marker to keep track of the names, and a spatula to help me free up the shadows. I have a feeling that these are magnetic uh, um, pans. If they are not, I do have um, sticky magnetic rounds if I need them. I'm going to see right now if I can. Okay, so I know that the pans are magnetic but they don't seem to be lifting off with the magnet, so hopefully um, they're not too hard to free up and, uh, and then use up. So I'm going to do what I usually do, which is free up the shadows from the base, and we'll take it from there. For that purpose, I'll be using a knife, and always cutting away from me. And there we go, easy as pie. And like I said, I will free up the mirror at another time, possibly at the end of this video if it's short enough, but we'll see. Now you'll see that there's, um, there's paper on the backing as well, and we want to free that up so that we can see the two layers in this case, two layers of cardboard and the in between, actually three layers, good, okay. The, pans are going to be glued on the third layer, so that's where we're going to want to put the knife, but first off we need to free up and see the cardboard in order to be able to cut it. And so I'm going to keep going with the knife on the back and see if I can just free up all of the sides. I'll just fast forward this part because it's kind of boring. All right, we have the layers all around exposed. And now we can get into um, freeing up the layers by putting the knife in between the second, hopefully you can see it, in between the second and third layer in the palette. So, so let's give that a shot. Okay, we have our first four shadows. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, not too bad as far as the glue on the back. Just need to um, clean off a little bit. The colored rain glue is um, stickier than other glues that I've taken off before. And so I have a little trick for that if I don't want to use adhesive right away, which I don't. And that is take a tissue paper Either, clinic, either Kleenex or uh, regular tissue paper for gifts, gifts and stuff. And you just um, take apart the, the uh, different layers because you only need a tiny bit. Just the circle for the glue. And place the one layer of Kleenex right over the glue and it will still stick quite nicely. And we'll write the name of the shadow. And there's our first one. I'll bring out my magnetic palette. Might as well put them in as we go. I think I'll start with the top because I'd like them to be on the top left hand side.
we go. Got sauced finally. <laughs> that sounds funny. Got sauced finally. Ah. And there we go, all 16 of the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments, um, all depotted and looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the result. And I hope you found this depotting interesting. If you want to stick around, you certainly can. I will try to uh, free up that mirror pretty quick. But uh, apart from that, if you want to exit out right now, I will say thank you so much for joining me on this depotting. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Okay, now for this mirror, I am going to try to free it up without harming it. Let me just get rid of a bunch of this junk. Now there should also be a couple of magnets in the top here, but let's, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. So let's free up these magnets. I have grandiose plans of reusing them. We will see if that happens. And the mirror is usually really freed up quickly in colored rain palettes. Let's see if that's the case. Hmm, there's more glue on this one. Maybe because of its size. I broke it. Not as clean of, a, of an endeavor as I thought. The last one that I freed up from a colored rain palette was so easy and this one was not. But I will still see if I can use it. And not sure exactly what I'm planning but I am saving my mirrors for now. And probably uh, it's the Inspiration by Georgia Harris's project. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it in the cards here. Yeah, that's too bad. I should have been a bit more patient, but it looks like it was maybe with a knife, but it looks like it was scored a little bit. Anyway, an extra mirror to save. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this depotting and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.